So this gentleman's got a brachial dialysis fistula and he's got raised venous pressures on dialysis. So we suspect he's got a recurrent stenosis at the cephalic arch. So we're first of all, just going to ultrasound his fistula. And if we come round, there's the arterial anastomosis, which looks fine. The proximal venous side is fine. So we're just going to follow the draining vein all the way up his arm. And we're going to come up all the way up towards the shoulder. We're getting round towards the cephalic arch. Just need a bit more jelly on that. So coming round towards the cephalic arch, up at the shoulder, and you can see here, we'll just go along the tune leap, there's a narrowing. And I suspect this is at the area that was plastied just eight weeks ago. You can see it really is quite narrow. And then it flares out, opens out into the subclavian vein there. So that's the area almost certainly that we're going to have to treat. So the first thing we're going to do is puncture the venous side of the fistula and do a venogram to see if that's correct. And now what I'm going to do is put a little bit of local anaesthetic in. So it's going to be a little bit sharp just coming up now, okay? A bit of a sting as we numb that up. So there's going to be some pressing. It shouldn't be anything particularly uncomfortable. Okay, so we've just got our J wire all the way around to the cephalic arch. You can see there's a little bit of resistance there. So at this point, we're just going to change and put our seven French sheath in. It's a standard vascular sheath. And just rotating that sheath in, it's gone in relatively easily now. So it's just a short angle catheter. We could use any, any angle catheter for this, to be honest. Um, it's just to direct us through the cephalic arch. Okay, if you could breathe in for me. Breathe out, take a small breath in, and hold it there very still for me, nice and still, warm feeling coming up. And breathe away. And that shows that very tight stenosis around the cephalic arch, which actually looks tighter than it was last time it was plastied about two months ago. So we're gonna pass a Benson wire through this, round into the SVC. I suspect the Benson wire will go through very easily. If it doesn't, we could use an angled hydrophilic guide wire and it's just whizzed around there now. I'm gonna follow that with a catheter. Just going to take the catheter around. Now we're gonna put a super stiff working wire in. I tend to do most plasties and stents over a stiff wire if I can. Just gives you more support. So this is a six millimeter by four centimeter standard pressure angioplasty balloon. We're just going to start the dilatation off with this and uh, see how we get on. Okay, fade in please. So we're just going to take it round to there. Okay, thank you. And I'll take the inflation handle. So there might be a tight feeling now, okay? Yeah. How's that? Hey. So there is some wasting there and that's a little bit uncomfortable. Can you bear that? Yeah. Let me know if it's too sore. It's just gonna get a bit tighter now. Yeah. Just fade in. Yeah, so we're right across it there. Okay, bear with me. Um, we're up to 22 atmospheres with a standard balloon. A lot of these balloons will take higher than the rated burst pressure as long as they're not up against some calcified horrible plaque that will make them burst. Some will burst below their rated burst pressure for that reason. And that wasting's almost gone. Okay, we're just gonna deflate that now and we'll have a little look. I think we'll probably just do a run through the sheath. Thank you.
Okay, that has improved, but not sufficiently yet. So we're just going to dilate that with a larger balloon, and then we're going to place a covered stent. And we're going to use a via barn stent in this situation because it's a very flexible stent, and we don't want anything too rigid where it's going around the cephalic arch, which is an area uh, which does have a lot of flex. Okay, so we're just going to take out the standard balloon and we're going for a higher pressure seven millimeter balloon. So we're just going to take this balloon around to that stenosis again. Fade on, please. And we want to be about there. So this will be tight again, okay? Yeah. And you can see there's still significant wasting there, which is no great surprise. Ow. Okay, bear with me. Going to leave that at the moment or two. Right. How's that feel at the moment? Sure. Can you bear a bit more? Yeah. Okay. So you can see now that wasting has gone completely. The Vibarn stent we're going to place is eight millimeters by five centimeters, and it's over an 018 wire. So we're going to insert a V18 018 wire, which should give us enough support to place this stent. So this is the Gore Vibarn stent. We're just going to insert over this 018 wire. Okay, I'll take the wire. Thank you. Fade on, please. Thank you. Right, so we'll just do a run with our stent in the position we think we're going to deploy it, and that's just going to check that it's accurate because that fluorofade could have changed, that we could have changed position since we last did that. So if you just breathe in for me, please. Breathe out. Now take a small breath in and hold it there nice and still. Breathe away. Okay, I think that position looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. So we're gonna deploy the stent in exactly that position. So to deploy this stent, we need to slacken off the thread. I'm gonna try and hold it in exactly the same position and I'm gonna pull the thread and that will uncover the stent. And we're pulling the thread back now and the stent is in exactly the same position. Nothing has moved. And you can see the stent's deploying there. And the thread is completely back. So now we're going to take the deployment system, the delivery system out and we'll do it, leave our wire through there of course, we'll do another run and we'll see whether that needs any post dilatation. Okay, breathe in again for me please. Breathe out, small breath in and hold it there nice and still. And breathe away. Okay, that flow looks excellent. I think what we will do is we'll put that seven millimeter balloon back in and we'll just reinflate it once uh, just to see if we can get a little bit more dilatation there but I'm very happy with the position of that stent. Okay, breathe in for me, breathe out, small breath in, hold it there nice and still. Excellent, breathe away. I'm very happy with that, you can see the flow is very rapid, there's no collateral filling and the diameter is pretty much the same as the feeding and draining areas of vein. 